Hey guys, it's Nick back here with another video. Uh, still doing the same old carnivore here. Uh, everything still going really well. I still feel like I'm um, getting some pretty good results overall. Um, still enjoying this way of eating, this lifestyle. Uh, I'm still getting up early every morning, still hitting the gym. Uh, I know it's been about a week since I've posted a video, but I've done a couple of shorts on some of the meals that I've uh, cooked and posted those, which the shorts seem to do pretty well with views, uh, funny enough, which I guess, you know, not everyone wants to watch a five minute video or anything like that. But um, overall, everything still seems to be pretty smooth as far as the way uh, my body is feeling, the way I'm healing and everything. I am still doing coffee, however it's mostly decaf at this point, uh, with the occasional, you know, regular, just straight black coffee. I've had a couple of Americanos, but um, overall trying to stay away from that, because I, I think espresso has uh, carbs in it, I'm not sure. Uh, regular coffee might, I don't know, I just have always thought it was not, anyways. Um, still going really well i have learned over the last week that if i eat any rendered fat or you know melted fat basically like butter or uh, any of the meat that comes out of ground beef or anything like that if i have that melted fat that tends to cause my stomach some issues so i don't think it's getting uh, utilized the way it should um, so I haven't been doing any melted fat overall. Um, I still eat, you know, a little bit of, I've been eating a little bit of butter, uh, this past week and, um, all of that, but, uh, it's been in solid form, just kind of on top of a few things that I've eaten. Um, and with ground beef, I don't, typically keep the render fat mixed in with it um, I just try to scoop out the meat with salt and go that route or if I cook a burger then you don't really have to worry about that because it just kind of drains out anyways into your grease pan um, that seems to be helping my stomach a lot more my weight has been fluctuating between a pound or two over the last couple of days anywhere from 200 to uh, 203 this morning was 202, yesterday was 201. Um, I did try a little bit of cheese, so that could have something to do with it. Didn't hurt my stomach, but I definitely, uh, I've noticed that it, my weight does change if I eat cheese. So I probably will, once I'm out of cheese, I probably won't have any more. Um, but overall, the way I feel, has still been great I haven't been having any like allergy issues or anything like that um, as far as you know my sinuses and everything like that uh, every now and then have to blow my nose but it's really not that bad especially after I mowed this past weekend and within 10 minutes I didn't have any uh, nasal issues or anything like that which is nice because usually if I mow the grass it'll be uh, stuffy runny nose for two or three days um, so that's nice not to have to deal with that um, anyways I'm gonna cut out cheese once I'm done with that and go back to just meat uh, this morning I did have some eggs which tasted pretty good I haven't had eggs within the last couple of weeks um, so we'll see what that does to me um, just to see if it causes any sort of issues because I know there are people that have issues with the egg whites mixed with their eggs and so they'll cut down on the whites but keep the yolk um, but for me I'm trying to keep that higher protein content um, so having the egg whites still mixed in for me is what I want if I'm going to continue eggs um, <clears throat> I did go buy a bunch of meat uh, this past weekend so I can start cooking that up and have stuff prepped and ready to go um, just because I have a short lunch every day during work and it's hard to uh, always cook during lunch which the way I cook my steaks now it's only about 12 minutes of cooking that even matters so I still have time to eat it which is good 
Um, but for like ground beef and stuff, if I want to do burger patties, it takes a little bit more prep time, a little bit more work to get that done. Um, <clears throat> the weight, I was down to 198 until I tried some cheese and now I've been, like I said, bouncing around between uh, 200 and 203 recently. Um, but still feeling good. My workouts are still even getting better than what they were um, even a couple of weeks ago. Overall, I do feel like I'm, you know, starting to still lean out a little bit. So that weight fluctuation could just be a little bit of muscle mass um, building back up. I'm not sure, I don't get any measurements, no body scans, nothing like that. The only thing I do is step on a regular scale to see what my weight is, just out of habit. Um, and so it, it's not a huge concern. I still feel like everything has been healing. Um, I was having some sciatica issues, which over the last week and a half, I've been doing a lot more mobility, but also a lot of that pain has gone away to the point where even if I sit incorrectly for an extended period of time, like on the couch with my wife or whatever, it doesn't really flare up and doesn't really hurt. So that's fantastic. That means I can do a lot more without having to experience any sort of pain like that, um, which it was, it was manageable. I could still work out and do my own thing with all that, but um, that's definitely a huge plus with everything that's been going on and uh <clears throat> I will say with my energy levels I've been actually applying for part-time jobs just to have you know a little extra income with the baby on the way um I've only applied to a couple of places I would really like to get back into working at a gym I did that for a few years and it was some of the most fun of my actual working life being at a gym, being able to talk to people, uh, you know, just enjoying that interaction. Because with my current job, I don't interact with a ton of people. So it's not always a bad thing because I do like being alone sometimes. But at the same time, you've got to have human interaction. It, it's really good for the mentality. Um, you know, don't have you don't have uh, as much depression or anything whenever you get to actually talk to people laugh with people enjoy their time um, them enjoy your time hopefully and so I, I do want to try and get that if I can only like 15 hours a week if I can um, mainly for just a little bit of extra income but also because I have a lot of energy and I, I don't want to waste it you know being at the house all the time I do love my wife, I love being with her, I love my kid, I love being with my kid. But with another baby on the way, if I can work for a couple of months, you know, and have the energy to do it, then my wife and I agreed that's something I should do. So um, I'm looking for a part-time job. And uh, if I get one, great. If not, who knows, maybe I'll uh, find a way for some extra income, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that, that's really the update over the last week. Um, everything's still improving, still going well. Um, starting to worry less about the weight, um, which I've told y'all that I know this is about healing. So that's the main focus. Um, and I just, you know, want to keep this going, but you guys take care. And, uh, if you could please like, if you're new, please subscribe. Um, I do want to get my story out there as well, just like everyone else. Because uh, the more people that hear this sort of stuff, the more we can get people that maybe this is the route they should take for their healing and their uh, weight loss goals and stuff and not fall into the trap of constantly eating ultra processed junk foods that are in the middle aisles of all the uh, grocery stores. So uh, y'all take care. Please do that for me. Share it if you want to. Um, I would really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.